All right, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and today we're going to be walking through the map Downfall. Now, in case if you don't know what I do on this channel and are new, I walk around these maps that these incredible forgers create and look at all the details. A lot of times whenever you're playing on the map in normal custom games or matchmakings, you don't really see the details, uh, at least a lot of them, unless you stop playing and you just look. Uh, but that's what I'm here for. That's what I like doing. I like walking around the map, showing off what these forgers are capable of creating. And so you can also get some inspiration whenever you actually are creating your own map. You can use ideas that other forgers have done. And you can take inspiration from those ideas and you can implement them into your own map. So let's go ahead and jump in and start looking at the map Downfall. Now this is created by Warholic, Payman, and Wolf Rain, and they have done such an incredible job. Now uh, I did read that this is a spiritual successor to Downrush, the Halo CE map. Uh, so yeah, this is absolutely incredible. Just look at the start of this. The details, the depths of the map itself, like look off into the distance, you can see buildings and structures way off into the distance over there. Oh, there's a truck that just drove by over there onto a road, which is really cool. I just love things that are not in the playable space, uh, but they're just off in the distance, provide some depth to the map, uh, make it feel like you're in a, a live city, a or whatever this is, I don't know what this, is this a city? I don't know, or an industrial complex or whatever this is actually, but look at this, absolutely everything looks beautiful. I love the use of uh, this brick uh, that is right here, as well as the metal and the concrete here. It just has a nice contrast and works really well. Oh, that's nice, they have a little entrance deal right there, so that's pretty cool. I love this, so you can actually shoot at people uh, from across the way if you want to if they start going over there you have a way of like zooming in and shooting at them across the way uh, let's go ahead and keep moving though I'm going to try to stick around the outside uh, first that's what I always try to do and then move towards the center no promises because there is just so many different levels of everything here I love all the jump up spots that you can get to uh, so that way you don't have to be stuck going along one path uh, so let's just go ahead and keep moving. We got some grenades over here. We got, look at all this, like just everything around the outside, just beautiful aesthetics on here. Um, and I believe, uh, how do you say that? Uh, Ponytar, is that a Ponytar, something like that? Is that how you say it? Uh, he was the original creator of the map uh, Down Rush that this one is inspired by. Uh, unfortunately, I, I I didn't know this person. I didn't know anything like that. Uh, but unfortunately, I found out uh, whenever I was reading the description of this map that uh, he has passed away due to cancer, which that is so unfortunate. Uh, you know, just incredible map maker from reading about what maps that you know is able to do. Uh, so that is very unfortunate. So this is a nice little tribute, uh, very uh, fantastic tribute uh, to him. So let's go ahead and keep looking around on this map. Just Aesthetics are beautiful. I love the burned trees look right here. Coming down here, just everything about it just looks really good. We got a lot of like little jump up spots. Oh, but look at this. This is like little trash right here. Very smart move. Just adding something instead of it just being like a normal platform or anything like that. It's like a trash bin. Uh, so that's definitely really nice. Uh, just nice touch of aesthetics there. Uh, be careful. Don't want to fall down there. We have the sniper right here. Um, I don't <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to jump this. I don't think you can. Nope, you can't. Uh, so <laughs> going to my death there. Uh, I, I just I wanted to attempt to jump that just because. Uh, but yeah, so basically you're trapped over there in the corner unless you have like a grapple or repulsor. Uh, but you are able to make your way up here like this, or of course, uh, going over to this outer edge over this way. Um, yeah, look at this over here. I like that they provide it where that you can actually get in here. I wasn't expecting that, that you can actually get into this area. I figured it would just be like an invisible blocker or something like that. We got a commando right there. We got more stuff off into the distance. Over Overall, man, look at this map. Just the amount of detail. See, this is one thing that these maps, they look dev made. Because just the amount of detail, like all this right here, the... The different types of, you know, floors and stuff they use for different areas of the map, including putting trash and dirt and everything like that on the map. 
we got an electrical circuit right here just a nice touch nice touch we got sparks with some smoke going there uh, some overgrown and this is where I was talking about like how you know they also have some mud and dirt and things uh, and just providing like putting wires along here just to change it up so it doesn't look just basic uh, where it's just like oh this is a floor like right here they have you know a see-through spot right here just changing up the floors a little bit uh, to make them look real pretty real nice uh, man that is just look at that view that just looks absolutely amazing this is fantastic okay we're not going into the center just yet let's go ahead and keep circling the outside here uh, circling the outside, we got uh, this, uh, what is that called right there? A shroud screen. I almost said smoke screen, but I'm like, no, that's not right. Uh, but there's the center right there. You can, of course, see in here all the aesthetics. Looks fantastic. Wow, this, seriously, this looks so good. Uh, I love that we're capable of creating things like this in Forge now. It's, it's fantastic. Oh, look, and this reminds me, what's the, oh my gosh, what is the one map that's uh that has this type of lift um where it has like palm trees and everything i forget what it's called i cannot remember what that map is called oh my oh my gosh i'm sure someone in the comments will say what it's what is called on there but this reminds me an awful lot like that where you just go up you but there normally has three levels that you go up on that's pretty cool i love the use of these lifts right here just it, to me that's a lot better than just a grab lift or teleporter or anything like that having something like that so look at this i love the accent brick right here coming along uh around the outside there with the metal uh connecting next to it or whatever this is supposed to be like a concrete type of thing uh we got metal doors you see that's why i talk about a lot on these walkthroughs you know change things up don't make it one just solid type of wall like you know like how they did uh, they did, i'm not saying this is a solid type of wall i'm saying they did it correctly where they changed it up like you have one type of wall here this brick here but even the bricks change to something else right here as well as this wall provides a little different look than what the other walls surrounding it uh so that way you know it's something different like it's not just you know uh, one type of wall and you know around the map it's at least providing a lot of different stuff and look at this I love how you walk along the pipes and it's kind of filled with dirt and mud and uh, rocks that is pretty cool so right here is this is this some sort of train or something like that right here pulling in and it's right now is that just getting charged up maybe it's like an electric train I don't know or it's something you know it's getting charged up that's pretty cool so right here we have ourselves a uh, big old drop there the UNSC waste management so that's pretty cool so maybe the train comes it opens up its hatches you know a whole bunch of trash falls down through there that's pretty cool I just love the surrounding aesthetics on here it's it's awesome being able to see uh, stuff like this I love I love aesthetics <laughs> pretty much anyone who knows uh, the maps that I make and stuff whenever I have time unfortunately I don't have a lot of time anymore to keep making maps um, which I'm trying I'm trying but I love focusing on aesthetics that's what I always try to focus on is aesthetics uh, I make a lot of racetracks and everything like that and I love focusing on my you know racetracks have beautiful aesthetics oh look at that water down there but it looks like we have a jump spot right there to be able to get across let's go up top though first um, but yeah it's the aesthetics on these maps are incredible and that's what really draws me into a map if you can make a map where it looks dev made uh, then that is a huge plus a huge plus for the forge map itself like you can for me personally I can disregard some you know gameplay aspects that may have a problem as long if, if you make aesthetics look like this then it doesn't matter to me uh, personally like it, the gameplay could be mediocre but I just love playing on maps that are this beautiful now I'm not saying that this map the gameplay is bad because no, the layout of this with all the different tunnels, the passageways, uh, the different levels and everything like it, it was really good. And it's a lot of fun. I love the changes that, uh, you know, they like of elevation and everything like that on here. So uh, they did such a great job with this and it was a ton of fun to be able to play on. I did play on it with bots. Uh, but yeah, it's a ton of fun to be able to play on. So let's go ahead and run through here and we are back at the beginning area. So now let's go ahead and drop down. I want to see what this is over here. I love this trash just like pouring out of this right here. We got a whole bunch of bugs and nastiness uh, coming through here. So uh, going through all this is so we got the bulldog right there. 
Uh, very nice usage of the stone here, making it look like it's kind of broken out and coming through, coming through this area right here. And now we walk into the center. Uh, I believe that's a waterfall that's right here coming through. So uh, you walk through the waterfall, you're in the center, you're in the moving water right there. And here is the spanker rocket launcher. So there actually is three levels to this. Here's the first level, right here is the second level. And then right here is the third level. So, man, you actually do have three levels. So it is similar to that one map that I'm sure y'all have already told me uh, in the comments down below saying, yeah, it's this map. I can't believe you don't remember it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so, um, yeah, this this looks fantastic. I love uh, this little spot right there. How did we get to that up there? I think it was up here, was it? Uh, to be able to get up there uh, let's go ahead and run around I want to see if I can get up to that uh, is it right here you jump up here and there we are and see there's the overshield right there uh, that is a fantastic spot I, I just love it's not super obvious uh, you know like of everything there um, now of course if you're on this level you could see it you know glowing over there but it's not super obvious uh, but I like that. I like how it's, you know, this little pathway right here is something kind of hidden a little bit. Uh, it's not really hidden, but you all know what I mean. It kind of blends a little bit, so that way uh, you it's not as easy to see, see like, uh, I, what, what would you say? I don't know what to say. Like, not, not seeable. But, uh, uh, you're not able to easily see it like this pathway right there in front of me. Uh, it kind of blends, but it is getting the overshield, so it makes sense that it would be a little bit... Uh, less easy to get to um, unless you actually know where you're looking so yeah this is overall just a fantastic map I love the over the aesthetics of it it's just absolutely beautiful take some inspiration from this map uh, if you are running around you know you can run around the map take a look at how they did things and take some inspiration from you know doing so and just go and build your own map uh, and you know uh, like take some ideas like because look at this the background this is absolutely mind-blowing i love whenever people create beautiful background type of uh environments like look at this with the white there and it's uh, you know the the god rays coming through and everything it looks absolutely beautiful it looks incredible uh so uh, if y'all do want to be able to see more walkthroughs like this just you know be sure to subscribe i love doing walkthroughs of maps uh, and checking out all the little details that's what i you know uh do have on this channel as well as some tutorials whenever i come out with stuff that i of course know uh but thank y'all everyone for coming out uh, if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and expect more halo infinite forge maps and stuff here on this channel consistently and i will see y'all in the next one and remember let's forge a new halo